Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Eric Parker with One Number Tableau Experts. And in this week's Tableau video, I wanna cover how to combine numerous filters in a dashboard into a single filter to save space and improve dashboard performance. Um, so let me start you with a, you know, almost a real world scenario. It's fake data, but the, the concept is real world. Um, so I work with a lot of different clients, one of them being my friends at Seattle Colleges. So thank you for the inspiration of this video and, and really some of the idea behind this as well. Um, so especially in a pretty demographically driven um, style of dashboard, whether it's students or employees or something like that, you can end up with a lot of filters. And there's a couple reasons that that might be um, a problem for you. So first of all, it's just eating up space on your dashboard, right? We've just probably surrendered 10% of the height of our dashboard to having a second line of filters. Now I'm, I'm fine with having a line of filters at the top of a dashboard, um, but I, I don't like there to be too many, right? Five, six, seven filters is probably about the sweet spot on the upper end. You probably don't wanna have 15 or 20. Um, and why this happens, it makes sense, right? You have so many different users of your dashboard and everybody has sort of their own thing that they're interested in. Oh, I support a program for international students. I support the high school students. I support students of a different ethnic background, you know, whatever it would be. And then before you know it, well, this person wants a custom filter and that person wants it and it becomes challenging, right? So how do you handle that? Well, one of the ideas that we've been implementing is to combine numerous filters into an, a single extra bonus filter. So in this case, we've got some key filters, right? I've got things like college and program and year of application. So I can still see my college application trend. But if you wanna know something extra, like what was their prior EDU? Well, cool, you can do that. And then you've got like your one-off you know, filter here. So I could see, oh, how many people had a bachelor's degree that applied to our college um, or something else, right? So maybe you're focused on veterans programs. So this person could flip to the vet status and then switch this to say, yeah, I just wanna see what does our applications look like you know, by veterans. So really only one thing at a time can be applied, right? Um, one additional filter, and then, I mean, you can apply multiple of the criteria there, but I couldn't say like veterans who had a bachelor's degree ahead of time. Like that's two different criteria, so that's, that's not gonna work, okay? So if this is of interest to you, buckle up, because we're about to walk through how you would actually create something like this. Um, so we'll simplify it a little bit because trying to create an additional filter with 10 options would be a, a little bit tricky. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, bear with me. I'm going to throw this on my second screen so I can uh, uh, look at it when I need to. And so first up, um, we're just going to clear out the second row of filters. So nice for me. They're all in a um, layout container already. So I can just double click on one of them. I've got the layout container selected and exit out right? Do I want to delete it? Yes, I do. Thank you for checking Tableau. Um, and then I also had previously gotten rid of age group and prior EDU. Okay. So um, side note, those filters were, I think, connected to basically all of these worksheets, right? So like if I went to total applications, I would see things like, okay, economic disadvantage, which was one of the filters that I got rid of. So depending on how you applied them, you can see the little database icon, meaning that these are applied to all worksheets connected to this data source. In that case, all I would need to do would be to rip, you know, econ disadvantage or first gen. All I would need to do is rip them off one worksheet and it will rip them off everywhere. If you applied them with something like selected worksheets, you may need to go in there, clear the other worksheets that are connected to, and then remove them from here. So I'm not gonna go too crazy on this. I'm just gonna remove a few of them. None of them are actually filtered anything right now, so should be safe, but uh, you know, full disclosure, you probably wanna do the, the full cleanup there if you already had filters applied. Um, oh, this is a fun little thing. So the, the worksheet got all like screwed up. So this is an old trick of ours. If you set the, the sheet to standard and then reset it to entire view, that should uh, get your summary tile or whatever type of worksheet gets messed up to look good again. Okay, so how do we get the drop down? How do we get that little bonus thing? So I can do this from any worksheet. So let's just, whatever, we'll just use the, the tree map for this. And uh, let's do this. So first step, I need to create a parameter, okay? So the parameter is gonna be whatever options I want to be in the additional filter drop down. So I'll just call it the additional filter parameter. So I know it's a parameter when I go to reference it in a calculation later. 
And then it comes up, you know, what, uh, what type of parameter do I want to create? So you could do a string, um, which means you're going to type out the text or depending on the situation, sometimes I like to do integer. So what, what would happen with integer is I'd have like value one, two, three, four, and then display as would change. So then here I could say something like, you know, option one is going to be age group. Option two is prior EDU. Option three is first gen. Just double clicking on the right column to be able to edit those. Um, you know, display as four, this is full time, part time. Okay. So I'm just gonna stick with those four for now uh, in the interest of time. I'll say okay. I'm gonna show my additional filter parameter. So currently it does nothing because I didn't connect it to a field, I didn't connect it to a filter, so it's just a random standalone dropdown. And, and for those that haven't used parameters a lot, that's what they are. They're end user, end user um, customizable inputs that you can connect out to something else, a calculation, a filter, um, you know, whatever, whatever it is you're trying to let the user control, okay? And so what I'm gonna do now is to create a calculated field that references that parameter, okay? So if I just said something like create calculated field, um, I'll call this my additional filter field, okay? And I'm gonna use a case statement because that's kind of the easiest for one-to-one -one conversions. If you haven't used a case statement before in Tableau, it's very, uh, very much a cousin of an if-then statement, um, a little bit less powerful, so maybe kind of the, the little bit, you know, smaller cousin, a little more specialized. Um, so in a case statement, you can just convert one thing to another. So when you see the number one in the parameter, then you are going to give me the age group field. When you see two in the parameter, then you will give me the prior EDU. When three, uh, then check over here, uh, that is first gen. And then when four, then full-time, part-time, I think. And then I'll just wrap it up with an end, okay? So what, what does that do? So if I hit okay, let's just test this in an extra worksheet. I put my additional filter field on the row shelf. So right now it's showing up as all these different age options. Why is that? Well, let me show my additional parameters uh, control. So show parameter here. And if I switch this from age group to prior EDU, the list changes. Or if I change it to first gen, the list changes. Okay, so that's nice. Um, something to look out for is that you may wanna change some of the default sorts. Like notice the numbers are probably in the order that I would want with the exception that the less than 18 is showing up after the other numbers. So this additional filter field that I've created, um, I'm gonna hit the drop down in my data pane, go to default properties and sort. And then here, I'm gonna do a uh, manual sort, and then I'm gonna send less than 18 to the top, okay? And then I'll probably wanna do something similar, you know, for something like prior EDU. It starts with bachelor's degree, but maybe I want it to go in order from like some high school to, you know, graduate program or something like that. So then again, additional filter field, uh, default properties, sort. And then once again, now notice that more options show up. So I would say less than high school, high school, some college, bachelor's graduate. The only annoying thing is that you can't change the parameter while this window's open, so kind of a bummer. If you have to do that for multiple fields, you may have to uh, you know, go through there and change that a few times. Okay, so before we put this in the dashboard, which we will do in a moment, I wanna talk about why did I choose an, an integer-based parameter, right? You're probably looking at that thinking you could just do text-based. So one of the nice things about an integer-based parameter is if I wanna change my languaging later, like let's say I'm like full-time, part-time, that's too long, it's gonna get cut off. Let's just do, you know, FTPT, people know what that is. I can change the text, and because that's only what the value is displaying as, not the actual value, I don't need to change anything in my calculation. The full-time, part-time is still gonna work just fine, um, even if I change what that output is. So if you're not totally you know, dialed in on your text-based outputs or you know your audience well enough to know that requests will be coming in to change those, then 
okay, cool. You know, you could, uh, you could just set it up like that as an integer parameter instead. Okay, so popping back over here to our area chart, I'm going to throw the additional filter field um, on the filters card. Say all, say okay. I'm gonna apply this to the other worksheets. Um, I got, actually, I can do that from the dashboard, so either way. I'll, I'll just do it here, whatever. Apply to worksheets. I'll just say all using this data source. So two things now. So now that I'm back in my dashboard, I need to show the parameter uh, and I need to show the additional filter. So go to my area chart, hit the drop down on that sheet. I'm gonna show my additional filter parameter. Then I'm gonna hit the drop down again. And if you don't see the drop down, just click in the background of your sheet. Ideally not on a data point, just in the white space in the background somewhere. And then in this case, filters, additional filter field. Okay. So in theory, this is functional. We have a bit of visual cleanup to do, but in theory, this is functional. So let me set the additional filter field as a multiple values drop down. So if I change this to part-time, my worksheets update. If I change this to age group and choose to look at where, you know, how many applications do we have for people under 18, cool, it updates. So now, how do we get this to look nice, right? Reminder of what this looks like in my more finished version of this dashboard. You've got the parameter right here, and I've changed the colors just to sort of indicate to the user what's going on. Side note, you probably wanna do a little training on this for your users because this is probably not something that they've seen a lot. And then the other thing that I've done I really like is that I've actually got the title of this updating based on what this says, to just reinforce what it is they've selected and what they're looking at. Okay, so first of all, this will just be my, I'll just call this additional filter field. I think that's what I called it over there. And let's just make this text blue, maybe bold. Okay, then for this, um, I'm gonna hide the title. Or actually, even better now that I think about it, could I put the parameter in the title? Oh, you, come on Tableau, you gonna do me like that? Just make sure that I'm not crazy. Okay, it won't let us insert the parameter. Maybe that's why I haven't done it like that before. Well, no matter, we're gonna find a way. So I'm gonna hide the existing title. So I right click on the title of that filter, deselect title. I'm gonna make my own little title here. So I'm gonna insert a text box and uh, oh, it's in a layout container. So let's just, I'm just gonna throw it down here for now. Um, I'm gonna have to do some rearranging here in a second. And I'm just gonna insert my parameter, additional filter parameter. And then let me just get this all kind of lined up with how everything else looks visually. So I'm gonna to have to use a vertical container, the things we do, right? There goes my text box, there goes my drop down. Those are now in that little vertical container together. And then it's, it's a little bit misaligned, right? You see how this is, uh, it's a bit staggered. The uh, drop down here is above this one. So the last thing is editing some of the uh, padding. So I click on the age group text box and I'm gonna hit the layout tab to go to the layout menu in the dashboard. And if I remember, I just need to change my outer padding um, and knock it down to, hmm, maybe that, maybe I need to do more than that. Maybe I need to change the outer padding of this one as well. Try and set this down to none. That's looking better. So it's probably gonna be a little bit of trial and error to be honest, because I don't know, still trying to figure it out to get it just right. Uh, so you probably wanna tinker with that. I feel like I'm still a pixel off, which just sort of drives me crazy, but, um, you know, I think with enough, uh, with enough finessing over there, you can get it to look just right. So that is just a bit of a rundown, right? So I've got a little bit of text that's off there, but now I can change this. Now I've got different options here. One of my favorite moves is to add an apply button to a multiple values dropdown. So I'd go to customize, show apply button. And then if I wanted to look at, what's see just people with a bachelor's or graduate's degree, what does that application trend look like? Now I'm there. So I hope this helps you in your journey as you're trying to figure out what do you do when your users are requesting a lot of filters and maybe this um, uh, method of combining multiple filters into a single filter uh, in a Tableau dashboard um, could be helpful for you. So thanks for following along. We look forward to your comments, your thoughts, your feedback, being able to see it if you were able to successfully accomplish this. And we look forward to bringing you another video here next week. Thanks.